Hi, Millie. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you, Kevin? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for your time today. Last time I actually spoke with you, we were talking about the uh, the nose blood element uh, in Stranger Things and how they actually did that. It was really cool. Um, well, congratulations on the film. I, I think this is an interesting story for Madison specifically because it's a coming of age story for her. Um, and I was wondering for you as an as an actor, do you have a coming of age moment uh, just in general in this business? Was it maybe when you played Eleven or kind of breaking into your first feature film? Like, what, what would you consider your coming of age moment? You know what? Um... I think my coming of age moment was last year. Yeah. Mm. All of last year being in quarantine, I definitely found like myself a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm 17. I'm, uh, oh. this is kind of the time where you start to figure out what you like, what you don't like, what you need, what you don't need. Um, and so last year I definitely took that time. I mean, because you got to remember like when I'm doing those films and those shows and when I'm on tour and, um, things like that I don't focus on finding myself you know it's not something mm. that you focus on you have to focus on the people the place you're at the people you're with and so having that year off really helped just me um, I think personally so that was my coming of age story was quarantine mm. and being by myself a lot it helped me kind of focus on the things that I didn't really want to focus on before yeah, I appreciate that answer. That's really cool to hear that. I think a lot of people may have gone through that uh, during this time where they refound themselves. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Depending well, on... I mean, I haven't like found myself. I'm not like, yes, yeah. I know who I am. <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely know a few more things that I didn't before. 100%. Now the Duffer brothers are, are, are geniuses and I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know like what you take from that experience that you can put into these bigger films because the effects on that show are just as big in my opinion, just as practical and just as cool. Um, but what do, what do you take from the Duffer brothers that you can utilize in the Godzilla films? Well, something about the Duffer brothers that I've always really appreciated is their understanding of me wanting to create so mm. you know it was never just about me acting on stranger things uh they even helped me they 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 taught me so many things about directing they've taught me so many things about writing mm. we have our dp on the show right now that's teaching me about different shots i mean i love creating so it's not just about acting for me so they'll let me come onto set and just like have a moment of directing because they give me that voice. And what I loved about taking that, you know, from Stranger Things and bringing it into my movies is that I can actually create still. Um, and I just, it's a conversation with the director. I mean, not everyone is like the Duffer Brothers, you know, the Duffer Brothers are extremely um, kind to me and they give me that voice to be able to create what I love. Um, mm. And even on things that I'm not in, you know, I get to still, like talk to them which is really great and I think that's mm. what I appreciate going to my movies I have to talk to the directors hey listen I'm super creative I'm very <laughs> active and, and I love giving ideas so I hope you don't mind that and so you know I've been thankful enough to work with directors that appreciate that and embrace that that's awesome to hear. I love the Duffer Brothers so much. Um, so this is something I've always found fascinating when you watch films. When you watch a movie like this, even a character like Kong, who's, you know, it's a fictional character, but it's an animal, it's a creature. There's something harder about watching an animal in a, har a harmful situation than it is to watch a human being sometimes. And oh, yeah. I don't know if that's, I don't know if it's because we're desensitized to it, but why do you feel like, like when I see Kong in a situation that's stressful, that stresses me out more than like a human character sometimes. And I wonder right. like... Why do you feel that that's the case? I don't know, but I completely agree with you. Um, I mean, when I'm watching anything to do with dogs or like yeah. you know <laughs> animals that could pot potentially be in danger um, or they're fighting, I don't, I'm not. I mean, I to be honest though, I don't even like fighting films. I mean, Rocky was excruciating for me. <laughs> um, what beauty, I mean, an amazing film. It is brutal, yeah. I, it, I just don't like it. I don't like watching it. My brother's so into MMA and I just can't do it. I can't look at the, they're both hitting each other. I mean, what's amusing yeah. about that? Um, so, but I don't really like humans fighting either, to be honest with you, but there is something about animals that get you. I feel like because they, I don't know. Why yeah, it? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'm I, trying I don't to know. explain it, but I can't. I just, I wouldn't <laughs> want to see an animal in danger. I mean, but I, like I said before, I'm not down to watch humans either. 
Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm in the same boat. Uh, Melly, it's an uh, honor to talk to you. Congratulations on the film. I, I, I hope you direct one day. I, I love that you're into the camera work and everything. Please direct. You should direct an episode on like a, on a show or anything you do. I would love to change your things. That would be great. <laughs> that, I'll right? text the Duffer Brothers right now. I'm like, hey, please. Really thank you so much. I appreciate that. No, I've been begging them for too long. <laughs> thank you Thanks. so much, Kevin. Have a good day. Great talking to you. Bye.